This is problem number 32 from the January 2015 Algebra Regents exam. What we need to do in this question is write an exponential equation for the graph shown below. And we're going to start off by looking at the graph and trying to plot some points that we can identify. The first one I notice here is 2, 1. Um, also right beside it is 3, 2. And right up here we have, right on this side, uh, 4, 4. And it looks like there's one more, it's kind of hard to spot, but this point right here, which is 5, 8. Now because of the way this graph is set up, we can tell that it's um, an exponential function. We're going to be using the, the equation y equals a times b to the power of x. Now what we need to figure out is what is a and what is b. And a starting point is to rewrite this equation on replacing x and y with a couple of the points that we know are along this line. For example, let's look at the point 2, 1. What we're going to do is we're going to replace uh, the y value with 1 and the x value with 2. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the next point here. I'm going to replace uh, y with 2 this time and x with 3. Now we can solve this just like a system of equations. We've got two equations, two variables. Uh, I notice that I can make the two, uh, these two equal to each other if I multiplied everything in this with 2. And that would become 2 equals 2 times ab squared. And so since if we're, look, if we're comparing these two equations here, since both ab cubed and 2ab squared are both equal to 2, that means they must be equal to each other. So that means ab cubed is equal to 2 times a b squared. Now conveniently both of these have an a in uh, both si on both sides so we can divide a out of both of them and then now we've got an equation with just one unknown variable. So we've got b cubed equals 2 b squared. The next step we can do is divide both sides of the equation by b squared and what that's going to do is cancel those out. Uh, b cubed divided by b squared is just a single b. And all that's left on the right side is 2. So there we go. We just figured out our b value is 2. Now we just need to figure out what a is equal to. And we'll have our finished equation. So let's move over to the left side here. Um, what we're going to do is, once again, go back to the original equation, y equals ab to the power of x replace x and y with any of these points. I'm going to pick the first one we had, 1 and 2, which in fact is uh, we had written out over here. So I'm going to use that equation, except I'm going to replace b because we now know b is equal to 2. And if we solve this, we'll get 1 equals a times 4. If we divide both sides by 4, we'll get that a is equal to 1 quarter. And now we have all the pieces of the puzzle figured out. We know we knew the equation was going to be in this form, y equals a to the power a times b to the power of x. We now know that a is equal to one quarter and b is equal to two. So here is our exponential equation for the graph. So yeah, it's a pretty complicated question. I hope that was helpful. Uh, and that's all. Thanks for visiting JD's Regents Preparation.